maybe instead of doing piano, you might just want to choose ukuleles. Ukuleles are, are growing pop, more and more popular. They're kind of making a comeback. Um, if you just want to do three chord progression songs in C on ukulele, you have, you want to talk about the notes on the ukulele first and the strings, you have G, C, E, A, good cats, eat anchovies. So you have to tune it, of course, to those notes. Um, if we are in C position on the piano, you have G, C, E, stretch up for A. So if you think about it, G, C, E, those are the notes of a C chord. The one note that's not part of a C chord is the A. So what you do to make a C chord is on the G, C, E, A, on the A string, these frets on the, on the ukulele are like frets, are like half steps on the piano. So um, if this is an A when it's open, A, or here, up here, A. If I go one, if I do the first fret, I'm gonna have A sharp or B flat. Then I go to the next fret, I have B, sorry, B. Then I go to the third fret, and I have the note C, a high C. So this is how we play a C chord on the ukulele. Um, and you might just, you know, if you have really little kids with ukuleles, you might just get them to do quarter notes and sing songs with one chord. Like you get them to do the quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just downstroking with your, with your thumb and your pointer together. Or you could get picks if they want picks. Um, like a one chord progression song, you can just kind of sing. You could do... Um, exploring harmonies with the bells you know you could also get them to do pianos and try the melodies you know one two three one one two three one three four five three four five five six five four three one five six five four three one one five one one five one or I had the Mary had a little lamb one or twinkle twinkle little star um, they could do it with the handbells if they have a scale and they have them in order and numbered, you know. Uh, one, one, five, five, six, six, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one. Um, yeah. <laughs> so much to cover with music. Um, I think harps are making a comeback. This is one of my favorite instruments. <laughs> um, we have, this harp cost me like $400, but you can get even smaller ones. This is one's pretty small, but they make them even smaller. You hold a harp like this toward the big part towards you, but just so we can see uh, going up, sometimes I show the kids like this, the red notes, the red strings are C, and the blue are F. So we can think of it as like all the white keys on the piano. C, D, E. F, G, A, B, C. Um, so I'm going to sing you guys a little lullaby because I love this lullaby. I have the chords written out in F, like the lion sleeps tonight. So it goes one chord, one chord, um, five chord, one chord, just like Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. That same pattern as the first songs we did with the handbells. But then when it goes to the B section, it goes to the four chord, then the one chord, then the five chord, back to the one. So this is showing you an F. If it was in C, C would be F, that would be the one chord. Uh, G would be the five chord, right? And the four chord would be F here. So that's actually what I'm doing on the harp right now. But the original key of the song is an F major, just like The Lion Sleeps Tonight was. Um, all right. So Balu Baliri just means lullaby. Lullaby Baliri. Bahalu Bahaligiri Balu Bahaligiri Bahalu Bahaligiri Balu Bali. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. It's in three, four. So gonga wa pili fairies. They're saying, go away, little mischievous fairy, so my baby can sleep. Now I'm in orange, the second verse. Down come the bonnie angels. Down come the bonnie angels. Down come the bonnie angels. Take Baliri, spelt like this, lullaby Baliri. It's an ancient Scottish lullaby in Gaelic. So you can imagine for hundreds of years, the parents are saying that to their babies. So maybe that's like, if you're teaching the really little kids, it's before nap time or something just more mellow happening in the school day. All right. Um, 